What's up, guys? Northern Lights here. Uh, so, <clears throat> Spirit woke me up 3.33 this morning. I just hope this one doesn't take 12 hours to upload like yesterday's did. Um, anyway, so I looked up angel number 333, and it means all kinds of things, but it's on a positive note. So, 333 is you working in connection with your ascended masters. I just saw 33. Working in connection with your ascended masters, the 33. And then there's the there's the other three, which is you, um, body, mind, spirit, the Holy Trinity. And so um, 333 also signifies that your divine counterpart Okay, right around the corner. It all it can also signify abundance when it comes to uh, your monies, and it, one one one. It's also a number uh, reminding us about self expression and using our words to make a positive impact. One two three on large on on the masses on large groups of people. So just remember that our words are very powerful and we can choose to use them for good or for bad. And if you use your words for good and make a positive impact on the world, you will be blessed. I wanna go ahead and pull out the Butterfly Wings Oracle and let's just see what comes out and we'll kind of start from there. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate each and every single one of you. To book a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. Serious inquiries only, please. Um, I, 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 I need to reserve my time, 222. And so make sure your inquiries are serious before you put them in my email because, and also too, I appreciate when you guys send me emails, but I can't be, I'm going to mute you if you spam me with emails because it jams up my, what I'm at, like business end of it. And so I, it, if I had, I, it's hard for me to sift through and find personal reading requests through if I'm getting spammed by um, messages. So just keep that in mind. If I'm okay with you dropping me a line, but if I, I can't be having messages, you know, from the same person to six, eight, ten times a day, I just know. Okay, um, it is my it is my business email, and so please be respectful, and just you can use it to drop me a line three three three. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. You can use it to drop me a line or to request a personal reading, but um, it's I I don't it's jamming up my email to be having. A ton of messages coming through in there so just keep that in mind please it I'm you know I can't be trying to sift through a bunch of messages trying to find the ones that are trying to request a personal reading so just please be respectful and if you want to send me a message that's fine but if you, if, if you spam me, I'm going to mute you. So just keep that in mind. I'm not trying to be mean to anybody. I'm not trying to be an asshole. I just, okay, I, I don't put my email out there so that you guys can spam me with messages. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> yeah, we got a story unfolds, 444. Thank you, spirit. A story is unfolding, and I feel like it's your story, Collective. Your story, your creative expression, 
the light and the dark, illuminating, working with spirit, body, mind, and spirit, the Holy Trinity. <clears throat> I never seen this, but there's a there's a person standing here. I think that's you. You've gone through a lot of changes, and I feel like um, the world needs to know your story, Collective. Spirit is encouraging you to get your story out there, express yourself, find an outlet, write a book, write a song, write poetry, start a YouTube channel, start a vlog, start a blog, write, write lyrics, whatever, whatever it is that you can do to express yourself and get it out there to the world. That's what we need to be doing, 555, so that we can make changes, make an impact, and do it from a positive standpoint. Expressing yourself creatively from a positive viewpoint is going to make a much bigger impact than speaking negatively and bringing hate and, and putting negativity out. Because if you put negativity out, you're going to get negativity back. And I'm taught I'm, what I heard complaining. So if all you if all you do is complain and complain and whine and bitch piss and moan about a situation or situations or people or whatever it is that you're pretty much putting that out into the universe and that's what universe sends back. So make sure it that you know that when you express yourself, do it from a positive standpoint. Okay. Yeah, we have in a bubble. Okay, this says a confusing situation becomes clear. The story is coming full circle. Things finally falling into place. Okay, so where things have been unclear, muddled. Okay, there's about to be clarity with that lighthouse. Okay, a shining light. And like I said um, in my reading a couple days ago, that lighthouse. Okay, it's a beacon and it's constantly scanning the darkness. Constantly scanning the darkness. It's like the, uh, the the beacon of light in the dark. I just dropped it on the floor. Ugh. Beacon of light in the dark. You are the light in the dark. Always remember that because you never you don't know who your story is going to help, and we don't know that when we put our content out for the world, we don't know who's going to end up seeing it, but we can be confident and comfortable in the fact of knowing that whoever is meant to see it will see it. Okay. What else? Elephant spirit. You will overcome any obstacle. Balance power and gentleness. Great blessings are coming. That's right. Okay. Elephants have a long memory. And you could, it's a challenge. We've been through many, many challenges. And that's why we have a story to tell. And you don't know who's been going through the same thing or um, is needs your wisdom because you've been through it. But balance, balance your power with gentleness, okay? So if your delivery is also just as important, okay? Make sure your delivery is uh, in a, try to come from a positive aspect. Yeah, look, there's the light. There's an epiphany. A bright idea I just heard. You're experiencing new insights, working towards a brighter future. You're ready to accept reality, okay? So... The light bulb has come on. Ding! You could, ooh, you could come up with, you know, you could have an idea, an epiphany suddenly hit you. And that happened to me when I had got the idea to start this YouTube channel. It just was like, ding! My light came on, and here we are. Okay. Elephants travel. They get their travelers and they they have a long memory. Long memory. 
Lots of stories to be told. You, you're, oh, your, your memories and your stories could enlighten other people. 1010. Temperance. Bring balance into your life. Let the life force flow through you and get your life back in order. Okay. Let the life force flow through you. That's the ascended masters, your angel, angels, your spirit team. Working with the 333. Three, three. Body, mind, spirit. Working in conjunction with your ascended masters. Okay. Let's get one more. Exploration. Yeah. Explore your options. Um, when you get this epiphany, when this idea comes through to you, there's going to be lots of different avenues that you can explore. And Spirit wants us to explore. And Spirit wants us to, to open up 1111. Entering into uncharted territory, extend your horizons. It's about expansion, growth. Uh, keeping an open mind and explore. You, okay, it, it, you could be stepping. That's why that bubble was there. You're stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, I never once thought that I would be. Um, I just cut the deck to the universe. Holy shit. <laughs> um, I never once thought that I would be out here on YouTube. Yeah. Top of the deck of spirituality. Okay. Expressing my, I never thought that I would be out here expressing myself, but I found an outlet. I found my outlet and everybody has talent. We just got to find our niche and explore it. <laughs> this, even if it's come, it seems like it's from outer space. 1212 and what I mean by that is if it even if it seems like it's far-fetched or outlandish or 1221 um, Explore it because you don't know okay, it's uncharted territory. You don't know where it can take you and it could put you right on your path one two three four I see these numbers all the time we have the universe. You're in alignment with your power. Use your powers to manifest. You're surrounded by divine support. You've got the whole world in your hands. Explore it. I feel like spirit is going to bring you an idea. And a light is just going to suddenly click on. And you're going to be able to tell your story of all of your journeys. All your memories. You're going to be able to help other people guide them it could be a spiritual based practice um you are being divinely guided okay you're surrounded by divine support trials in life will make you stronger that's right the elephant okay you you remember all your trials and tribulations that that you have been through since you've been on earth and there, somebody needs to hear it. Somebody needs to hear your story. And like I said, we don't know when we put our content out who's going to hear it. But we can be, we can just, we know that whoever is meant to find it will be guided there by the universe. Faded events are unfolding. A story is unfolding. It's, you know, book ending right here. A book. You could write a book. Book ends. Um, and there's a book right here. You could publish novels. You could publish a, a, a creative series in fiction or nonfiction. Because even if the story isn't a real story, you can still intertwine your life lessons that you have learned in in your fiction stories, right? Okay. Uh, Spirit is really wanting us to focus on the positive because while there is 
Okay, there's a ton of negativity out there. And just looking around on YouTube in Tarot Land, it's just mind-boggling to me how many people out there put out all this negativity and they want to talk about, you know, just crazy things. And while I understand that people have gone through that, um, and it probably does help some people, it's really, okay, there's a lot of it out there that is just straight garbage. And they it gets the most views. And it's just... Ah. Okay, because here, the, those of us that are out here speaking our truth and trying to make an, a positive impact on the world, okay, we get lost in the sea of garbage. And it's, you know... <sighs> it's a slow climb. So but don't let that discourage you, okay? We got to keep it pushing. We got to we got to keep we got to part we got to part the seas of the garbage and just keep pushing our way through. It's a it's a test of, it's a w test of your will. And um you will persevere. You overcome any of your obstacles, okay? Just keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Okay. Let's see. I want to see what the Sacred Spirit cards say. And also, too, keep in mind that if you don't, don't let haters stop you. Because always remember, if you've got haters... You're doing something right. Yeah, there's the stag. You lead the way. You light your own path. Yes. You're a trendsetter. You, 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 you're paving the way. You're creating a trail that has been un, it's, it's unexplored. Make your own. Explore. Make your own trail. That star right there looks like a Merkaba. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the stag right there. Leading the way. Get default, Following your true north. You're following your purpose. Why are you here? A story unfolds. We're, we're not here for no reason. We're not here to live a life and never tell it. Okay. You don't know who you're going to help along the way. But you can trust that the universe is going to guide whoever needs to hear your message right to it. Get creative. This is about 333 is a lot about creative self-expression. Third eye vision. Reclaim your mind. Okay, this is about decluttering all that conditioning and programming that uh, the, the, the world these days brings us up in. Okay, the conditioning and the programming, it's all, we got to unlearn all that shit. Reclaim your mind. Follow, okay, it, spirit could be bringing you visions through your third eye. You could be a seer. You could uh, have visions of and see yourself or see visions of events could be predictive okay could be prophetic light codes you're getting messages from the divine that's like these antlers there's them lit up antenna nee, 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 getting messages from above right okay Ooh, we have guardian. Guard your energy. Okay. There, that, that's the triple moon right there. Okay. Follow your intuition. Your intuition is, is the same as your instinct. Follow your instinct. You follow your gut. Protect your energy. You could be a lone wolf. And many of us are. And usually when you're a lone wolf, you've got a story to tell.
howling at the moon. This wolf's head is all lit up all around it. Guard your energy. Okay, protect your energy. These colors match. Keep your third eye open. Protect your third eye from spiritual attacks. Okay, reclaim your mind. Letting go and unlearning all of the programming and conditioning. Relearning. Un okay, so learning is one thing and exploring an idea, right? But the hardest part is unlearning everything that we thought to be, that we know to be, that we were taught to be true, which is not true. Yeah. Awakened spirit. A desire to change. To wake up to your higher self. We have to pretty much, in order to make changes, I just saw 2112, we have to pretty, we pretty much have to get sick of our own shit. Calling out to the divine. Reaching out to the universe. And universe responds. Universe does, okay, universe does respond. You just have to be paying attention. Paying attention to the signs. Yeah, spirit evolution setting your heart free. Spiritual evolution. This is an ascension. This is um, growth evolving. Okay. Looks like... Um, we have an awakening going on here because I have spiritual evolution, awakened spirit, and epiphany right here. Something's gonna something's gonna click on. And spirit says explore it. Play around with it. We all have a talent. We we all have a talent that was given to us by the universe. And that's we have to unlearn all of that conditioning right wake up go to work eat sleep wake up go to work eat sleep wake up go to work eat sleep right it's that that cycle of routine and we have to that leaves hardly any time when you get stuck in a routine like that it hardly leaves hardly any time to explore the the gifts that were given to you by the divine and so when that light bulb comes on, <clears throat> we have to learn, we have to learn, unlearn all of the conditioning. You have to do it this way. You have to do it that way. And you do it this way or it's wrong. Okay. Forget all of that. You do what you feel like is right for you. And the reason why we have haters is because you can't please everyone. No matter what you do, somebody is not going to like it. Be okay with that. You have to be okay with that. We can't please everybody. Uh-uh. No. That's where you start. When you start, when you try to please everybody, you're the one that's going to end up ultimately the unhappy one. Because you're, you're, you're changing and bending who you are to make other people comfortable. You're making yourself uncomfortable to spare other people. And that's just, you know, how many out of them, how many people do you know that would do the same for you? Probably not very many. So do what it is that you like to do, regardless of what people think about it. Got my vanilla tea. It's almost cold now. Okay, I want to get my Starseed Oracle out. Yes, let's do it. Yeah, there's the pyramids. <laughs> there's the pyramids. Get in there. Okay. Ancient knowledge. 
your ancestors. I'm bringing you messages. Okay, let's see. <laughs> There's activated earth. Okay, this is a power place. This is the lay, the lay lines. Trust where you're led. Okay, the universe will guide you where you need to be, and they will also guide other people to you. Power places. So if you if you have always wanted to visit somewhere on earth, you just feel drawn to it, go there. There's a reason for it. That's a big beam of light coming down from the cosmos. Okay, this these sacred spaces, these sacred places, <clears throat> if you feel called to visit anywhere of these places on earth, go there. There's messages there for you. If you've always wanted to see the pyramids, go. This is reminding me of Stonehenge. If you want to see those, go. Okay, there's a reason. We got star family right here. You are a part of a team of souls. Call in support. There's your spirit team. Star family. Star ancestors. Look at this shit. Thank you, spirit. You go to these places that you're drawn to. And that's okay. You get, you get your messages from there. I'm not saying you have to get, you know, that's the only way you can get messages, but it's a real good one. Here's Earth way up here in the corner. Okay. And this is where, this is, this here is where, where all of our messages come from. And they they come straight to us. I want to read this one. I want to read that one from the book. Opened it right up to Star Ancestors. Star Family. At some stage, we are each part of a soul cluster and a gathering of souls who broke away from one other to ex from one another to experience themselves individually. Those who are part of your soul cluster are part of your star family. Your star family are those souls who are cut from a similar cosmic cloth. You haven't just experienced lifetimes together. Your souls were once actually one. It's very common for star family members to incarnate at similar times, to work with anchoring a similar frequency of light, and to cross paths with one another. Okay, so you're, it's like your soul family. Those that you connect with on a soul level, that is what this is talking about. You know that someone is part of your star family when you feel like you know and remember them from the moment you meet. They feel instantly familiar and comfortable. Time both passes quickly and stretches when you're with them. You feel more yourself with them than with anyone else. It can sometimes feel like looking in the mirror because in a way you are. Holy shit. Okay, I feel like that with um, Jamie the Divine Seer, and Cindy G, okay? We met online in this tarot land community because we were meant to. Let's see. Time, let's, you feel more yourself. I already read that. Dun, 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 dun. Often, you'll go out of your way to help those in your star family, instinctively knowing it's part of your path. I said, Follow your instincts. <laughs> wow. Okay. When a star family member dies, you feel it very deeply, regardless of how long you knew them. A certain soul mourning or soul breaking occurs. Think about the people in your life. Who do you feel is a part of your star family? If this card comes up in a spread, it's likely that you've met someone who is part of your star family or you're about to. 
Okay. Yeah. Your soul tribe. It's your soul tribe. And th that's exactly what this, that's exactly what this collective is. You guys are my star family, my soul family. We, we connect and vibrate on the same vibration. Okay. Beautiful. I love it. And I wouldn't have never met any unless I didn't explore this idea that I had to for self-expression. Okay. I keep hearing two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl. Who is that? What is that? Two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl. I know that's a song. Okay. I was thinking, sorry, I shuffle a lot because I was trying to think. <laughs> Inner Earth. You'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. Yes. Just jump in. Just jump in. Dive in. Hey, she that's a person diving right into an eyeball. Look at this. Diving right into your third eye. Reclaim your mind. Unlearn the programming and the conditioning that is taught to us in school while we're, while we're being brought up Un, unlearning the conditioning of our parents okay times are different and what they what they knew is different than what we know now and we have to unlearn we have to unlearn the conditioning the programming jump right in Andromedan energy adventure say yes to change thank you spirit oh my gosh there's new beginnings okay a story is about to unfold explore it it's being brought to you by the universe and I feel like it's going to be a spiritual journey I do okay let's see if anything else wants to come out of here Cracked open. And you're not for everyone. Thank you. That just confirms the message that I said. Okay. You're not going to be able to please everyone. There's just no possible way to do that. So do what you love and love what you do. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. Holy shit. Thank you, spirit. Boom. I said that. I said that. <laughs> Three, 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 three. You're not for everyone, and that's okay. Those that don't agree with you, okay, they can just keep it moving. And and if anyone wants to start any shit with you, you know, just just let just let them do their thing. There's not every act reaction, not every action needs a reaction. Thank you, spirit. Cracked open. Rock bottom. Surrender to the alchemy of life. Okay, Spirit, universe is trying to crack you open and, and so that you'll explore what's deep inside there. Sometimes we have to hit rock bottom. That, okay, I was at one of the hardest, hardest times in my entire life when I launched this channel. It's what I was told to do. It was, that was the path I was, that, you know, spirit guided me to take. And I was, I, you know, and I was cracked wide open. And, but the cool part is, is that there's cosmos inside there. Okay. And jump right, I just dived, I just dove right in. 
I followed my instinct. I followed my intuition because I was tired of being stuck in a loop that we had, that I had been conditioned in. The hardest part, guys, is surrendering. Hmm. To let it go. To surrender to the universe. Jesus, take the wheel, right? It, that's, that, that is the hardest part about it. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. Who cares if you know everyone doesn't like it? Okay, jump in anyway. You will survive. You will survive. There's a new beginning here. Inner Earth. This is like, this is like, <laughs> this is a land inside of land. Like this is a, this is land inside of Earth. Okay. There's a whole nother world that you haven't even, that's uncharted. You've never even explored. There's a whole nother, what I get from this is there's a whole space inside of yourself that you haven't even seen yet. Yeah, <laughs> dive in. You're cracked open. Okay, go ahead and take the leap. It's usually when we're going through the hardest shit that spirit comes through and says, well, go ahead and take this rat, go ahead and do this crazy thing. I got, I got a crazy idea for you, right? <laughs> and you usually end up meeting your star family along the way. Okay, for the sake of space, I'm going to put these two back. But if you found yourself drawn to any kind of ancient or sacred spaces, go there. <laughs> got the seven star sisters right here your soul family birthing creations a tapestry of life and expression holy shit look at this you're birthing something new okay you're gonna something a light bulb is gonna come on and you're and it's just gonna suddenly hit you and it's gonna be like ding and you're gonna be like oh my god how come i didn't think of this sooner because the universe brings it to you when the time is right. Yeah, pave a new path. I said, leading the way. Okay, you are creating your own path. You're paving your own way. You're not. You're you're not following anybody. You are. You're creating your own trail. You're a trailblazer. Be the leader you wish you had. Lead your own way. Damn. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. Okay. Hmm. I love my guides. Doesn't matter what deck I get. They all, okay, Spirit, Spirit puts out and shows what Spirit needs, needs me to see so that we can get a message. And I just, you know, I am forever grateful. So grateful. I need to find a way <laughs> to make room. If I just, if I get a bigger table, I'm just going to cover it. <laughs> I'm going to cover it with more. Okay. We're being cracked wide open. There we go. That's, that'll work. Okay. What tarot are we getting, Spirit? Hmm. I feel like the dragons want to talk. We're leading our way. We are creating our own trail. We're not following nothing. We're not following no one. We are making our own way. And Spirit is going to show you when the time is right, you will know. And you'll know when to take the leap. 
Guard your energy. Protect your energy. We're going through a spiritual evolution here. We are evolving. That 1111 portal, I did see 1111 in this reading. That 1111 portal, okay, that created a giant shift in the energy. And I feel like Spirit is trying to wake up as many of us as it can. Ooh, I got the two of cups right here on the bottom of the deck. Soulmates. Your soul family. Okay. Your soulmates. Your soul star family. People that you that, that match your energy that you can see eye to eye. You're on the same vibration. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Mm, temperance is underneath it with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. A gift. Temperance is already out here, right here. Finding the balance, bringing balance into your life, unlearning the conditioning, and doing what's best for you. Cleansing. Cleansing out all of that conditioning that just doesn't serve you. Getting your life in order. Taking control. Taking back your power. Reclaiming your mind. Reclaiming your mind. Awakening your soul. Okay, we've got, we've got reclaiming your mind. We've got setting your heart free. Okay, doing what sets your soul on fire. Awakening your spirit. We've got, holy shit. We got body, mind, spirit right here. Damn. Okay. Interesting. It's a gift brought to you by the universe. Okay. What else? The Eight of Pentacles. Working together with your with your soulmates. It could be, okay, this idea here, this epiphany, whatever this is that spirit open that you know light bulb is, you could it could you know be lucrative for you as well. Yeah, the fool. Take the leap. <laughs> Take the leap. Jump in. Okay. Yeah, that's a little white tiger right there. Okay. White tigers always give me intuition. intuition. They're very intuitive. Okay. Okay, three of swords and it actually it's okay it landed right under this cracked open card taking everything that hurt your heart okay everything that you've been through your heartache your stories your your legacy your what what you've been through okay and transmuting that into something that other people that you can help other people with. There's other people that are going through or are gonna go through that will need to hear your story. You're here to inspire and uplift and create. Four, 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 four. I got the Sire of Pentacles. That's the king. King of Pentacles. 
I'm telling you. you it, it, this is about committing yourself. Okay. Committing yourself to your purpose, to, to your gift. It's going to, okay, I feel like if you really devote yourself to it, okay, it's going to make you a lot of money. Okay. <clears throat> Where you were once ungrounded and uh, not confident in yourself, it's going to bring a sense of, of of confidence of belonging to you you because when you meet your soul tribe you have a sense of belonging um if if you're the black sheep which many of us are you're gonna have a new sense of confidence and stability okay What else? The six of wands. <laughs> Success. There's a crowd here. And, okay, this is that one where he's got the bad guy, right? I feel like this is, okay, this is you. And you're just, you know, taking these people and dropping them down for the death dragon to eat for dinner. I feel like, okay, because the knights are dragon slayers, okay? The dragons, they don't like them. <laughs> Anyone that has tried to cut you down, tear you down, okay, like I said, you're not going to be able to please everyone. Just cast them aside. They don't, you know, it, it, don't let them influence. Because your soulmates, the, your soul family, those are the ones that matter. Those are the ones you're going to help. These are the ones that uh, need you and want to hear your story. Could be people, you know, people that you already know from the past with the Six of Cups right there. Okay. <laughs> Sire of Cups. That's the King of Cups. <clears throat> Leading from a place of love. Leading from your heart. I've got the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles out here. You're committed, devoted. You leading from a place that sets your heart free. I had the temperance card stuck to my desk. Okay, it wants to be out. Go ahead and keep it out. Yeah, there's the five of wands. Okay, like I said, these, okay, here's your people. Here's your ones that want to, you know, come up against you and tell you that, you know, what you're doing is wrong or they don't agree with it. Okay, let them stay mad. Let them, just let them. Follow your intuition. Follow your gut with the high priestess. Follow your instinct. I have the Knight of Pentacles. It came out in reverse right here. Right on top of the Eight of Pentacles. And look, there's a stag right there. Leading the way on your own journey. I feel like because it came out in the reverse, I feel like because you've put in all this work right here with the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like your journey is almost over. The hard, ooh, the hard part is almost over. It's falling right here underneath the Three of Swords. The hard part is, okay, the hard part of the journey is almost over. Yes, because you've been doing the work.
We got the universe card right here. And the seven of cups. This is the world card in this deck. And in this seven of cups, every single one of those cups. Okay, in, the, in a normal seven of cups, there's usually mostly like ghouls and goblins and bad shit in them. This deck, it's full of good stuff. There's a phoenix, there's that stag, there's the white tiger with intuition. You've got a pot of gold, you've got a cosmic egg, a dragon egg. You've got gems and the koi fish, which is all about good luck and abundance, okay? In spirit and universe, okay, you see how that dragon, okay, it's, it's dreaming of all of those things. It's having a little nap and it's dreaming. And spirit is bringing you all, bringing you messages while you sleep, bringing you a clear vision. Because universe sees all. And and you're, you're getting messages while you sleep. But if this is also about everything that you dream about, everything that you daydream about, all of your, what do you want, collective? What do you want? Hey, your options are endless. I feel like spirit is showing you the way. I've got <laughs> I've got uni the universe out here twice. Universe is in control here. Universe is going to give you the the opportunity. There's a world in this card cuz this is the world card in this deck and there's a world right there. What are you going to do with it? You have a vision. Look, there's an eyeball. Yeah. Look at this shit. You have a vision. And spirit sees you. What are you going to do with it? Let's get one more of these. Or two. <laughs> I've got the chariot. Time to go. Time to take action. Time to time to take the lead. Lead the way. Go where you're led to. Follow your instinct. Follow your intuition. Make sure you protect your energy along the way. I've got the four cups. In this Four of Cups, there's a dragon sleeping, having his nap. Okay, there, <laughs> there you are. Okay, I feel like, and then there's another little dragon right here bringing a cup. And this one doesn't know because he's asleep. So don't, mi Ooh. don't miss your opportunity here. The universe is presenting you with many ideas. Or just one big idea, okay, where all of this could be, could take place in one shot, right? Spirit says, don't miss this opportunity because you're sleeping. And I don't mean actual sleeping. I mean like being asleep, okay? There's so many people out there that miss, miss their messages and their cues from the divine because they just want to roll over and stay asleep. They don't want to unlearn their programming. They don't want to, they don't want to take any risks. They don't want to jump in. They don't want to take the dive. They don't want to be cracked open. They don't want to explore. They don't want their anyone to know their story. Okay. And the thing about that is, is that the spirit presents you. With an opportunity, you take it. You take it. Yeah, three of wands. Okay. Something, okay, it's coming in. Ships are coming in. Blessings.
Let's get one more for that four cups. There's the star. Following that north node, staying true to you, leading the way, leading the pack. Okay, you could, you might be a lone wolf when you start, but when you start, the, when you take off and do this endeavor, that's how you meet your soul family, your soulmates, the ones, the ones that understand you and understand your soul because they're on the, they're rocking it on the same vibration. Okay, your ancestors, here you are following your true north, following your messages, following, uh, listening to your ancestors and your spirit team, your guides, your angels, and they have a spot reserved just for you. They're waiting for you to take the lead. I had the Knight of Swords come out as well. Okay, like I said, there's going to be people, <laughs> there they are, okay, there's going to be the people that disagree with you, and that's okay, okay, they, not everybody is meant to be the same, okay, we are, we're, ordinary is boring, okay, that came up yesterday too, ordinary is fucking boring, who wants to be ordinary, we were, okay, if spirit is coming to you and knocking on your door with an epiphany or a, an idea, explore it because that's what makes you stand out from the crowd and when people stand out that those are the okay they're easy targets and people will try to create shit storms for you but in the middle of all of the storm is the truth your truth they can like i said if they get mad let them stay mad let them stay mad Because there's good things coming in for you with this Three of Wands and the Knight of Cups here. The dragon is bringing that little baby seal to safety in his cup because that little baby seal was out here all alone. And that polar bear was going to eat it. So think of this dragon right here as your protectors, okay? And you're the baby seal. Spirit and the universe is grabbing you up putting you in the in the in the cup of love of the universe of spirit the love of god and carrying you to safety you will be protected fear not hey you will not be touched hey there there will be people out there that will try and chew you up and eat you alive all right because they feel so strongly about what, you know, about what you're doing. Well, what do we do when people are minding our business? Cancel, block, cut, clear, delete. Yeah, what do we do when people are minding our business? Page of Swords. <laughs> we block. And we keep on. Dancing around our maples, we keep on focusing on our happiness because it's not about it's not about what other people think. It's about what you think. And it's about your own structure, your own stability, your own happiness, your own foundation. You're being called. You're being called to follow your true north. Find your soul family. You because you like I said, you don't know who needs to hear your story. Yeah, there's the there's the wheel of fortune right there. Okay, it's your destiny. <laughs> Damn spirit. It is your destiny. Follow your fate. Lead the way. Yeah, time to come out and cut yourself down out of the hangman tree. There's no time to waste. No time to waste. Don't, thank you, spirit. Don't miss this opportunity. Because of fear. 
Nine of Cups. Go after your wish fulfillment. Four of Swords. It's healing. When you express yourself and you can tell your story, it heals you. It, it getting it out there and putting it out there into the universe. Okay. It's healing. It's very therapeutic and you're going to help others heal as well. There's a strength card. Okay. Like I said, fear not. You're going to help more people. You're you're going to help more people than you than the ones you piss off. Believe that. Okay. Cut the deck. Three of Pentacles. Make the effort. Put in the work. Yeah, get out of your head. Okay. It, you, you're going to miss it if you carry the burden and of fear. Okay. I said, don't fear not. Okay. The strength card... The strength card is about strength, but the reason why we have to have strength is because there's fear all around it, right? Put in the effort. Because if you stay stuck in Eight of Swords hangman, it's going to get heavy. It's going to get heavy. And, you know, you could lose your chance. It could walk away. Your new beginning towards happiness, okay? I feel like we need to leave behind everything that is that doesn't make us happy. Anything that has left us behind, okay, we need to let it go and keep it moving. Keep focusing on our, our new beginnings, on our fresh starts, planting that seed. Yeah, planting that seed. Look at this shit. Invest in yourself. Investing in your own happy. Going through changes. Tossing out people that want to come up against us, create storms in our lives, okay? Feed and drop them to the death dragon and call it a day, okay? You don't have to do anything. Yeah, page of wands, okay? That's a, that's a new idea. Explore it. I'm telling you. Spirit, if if you okay, if you've got this idea that is just ding 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 hitting your brain, okay, spirit's really wanting you to look at it. <laughs> I've got the moon with the hermit. Okay, <laughs> it could you could be having to work a lot in silence. You know, keep work. Uh, thank you, spirit. Move in silence. Don't tell people your plans. Just do it in silence, quietly. And don't tell anybody about it until it's done and then all of a sudden you just pop up. Because that way, you don't have people trying to discourage you. Okay? No. Because the people that want to discourage you, okay, they want you to stay stuck. They don't want you to meet your soul family because they're going to get... That they're going to get left behind and they can't come with you. Phew. Okay. Um, is there anything else, Spirit? Yeah. I want to get this Infinity Oracle out here. Since I have the dragons out, boom. Infinite abundance. Let's see. Let's just get a couple of these. Uh, this has got a little bit of everything in it. So let's just, just take them with a grain of salt. If they resonate, they resonate. If they don't, just chuck it. Okay? What do you want the collective to see for this message, Spirit? Okay, we've got temptation. Okay? Closing the door on anything that is... Tempting you into, like, keeping you stuck, basically. And I, I feel like, too, spirit is tempting you to explore this gift. That is, there's that, hey, ding, 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 ding. Hey, ding, 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 ding. Spirit is trying to be like, hey, 
doesn't want you to forget, doesn't want you to push this aside. If spirit is nagging you, you should really pay attention to that. <laughs> I'm telling you. Because it has it's your purpose. Why you're here. Following your true north, leading the way, freeing your mind. Explore it. Okay. What else? I have the autumn card, dark night of the soul. Okay. Could have went through um, a little dark night of the soul right here during the fall season. Free your mind. We've had that eight of swords out here. Free your mind and the rest will follow. Choose a path. What else? Counsel and therapy. Yes. Okay. You could have had, to, maybe you had to have some counsel to get through this dark night. But I think, thank you, spirit. This is what your purpose is. This is why spirit wants you to explore this. Because you are going to help people. You're going to counsel them and teach them and help them through their darkest times. Thank you, spirit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> signs from nature okay i said universe and spirit be going hey ding 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 we we've got something for you to look at here okay we have regrets don't worry about your failures okay if you it a failure is only a chance to try again. Get up and try again. It's there. It's always. It's just. It's just a lesson. We come here to fail, and it doesn't matter how many times we fail. It doesn't matter how many times we fall down. As long as we get back up every single time. Three, three, three. I did say is also about a divine counterpart right around the corner. Okay. Take it if it resonates. Looks like, you know, this that could be where this regret is coming from. Yeah, look, there's an ego death. Okay, you could... Mm, the, okay, this took a complete different turn, but self-worth. You learned your... Thank you, Spirit. You learned your self-worth. And if you're already out here on a podium, you've got a divine masculine that's or divine counterpart flip it switch it that is going through some shit he's watching you rise because you know your worth and he's going through an ego death with this dark night of the soul you could be inspiring this person and helping this person through with your meaningful coincidences and the positive change that you're making. The positive impact. Thank you, Spirit. Because you've done the inner healing. You've done the inner work. <laughs> Listen to your intuition. And you loved on some you. Okay. It takes a lot of self-love to do this inner healing work and create this positive change. You're here. You were sent here. It's your destiny to follow your true north and see what spirit sees. Okay? Lead the way. Follow your true north. It's your, you know, it whatever whatever this I whatever this epiphany is that this spirit brings on. Take the path. Take your own path. Make your own way. You're going to help a lot of people. And you're going to meet some really special people along the way too. You are being divinely guided. I love you guys. I'm going to leave this one here. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the information is below. Smash that like button for your girl. And I'll catch you guys on the flip.
Peace, love, and light.